Hey everybody, welcome to the second annual Colonel's Cotswolds to Coast bike ride. As promised, we are going to Western Supermare today. Woo! You join me at just over 10 miles in. The ride is going to be around 105 miles and I hope it's a good one for you all. I've plotted it on Strava. I'm trying to avoid all the major a roads and as many B roads as possible and just stick to the quiet lanes. I'm zigzagging my way down the country, pretty much following the M5. In fact, I uh, cross over it either over and uh, 13 times on this journey, so uh, we'll count them as we go along. Sam, who previously helped film the last two Everesting videos, has very kindly agreed to do some filming today. So he's following in his car, so you'll probably see him overtake me. Oh, there he is, that was him overtaking me then. Maniac! this road again. Last time I was on here I was with Pete doing the British Heart Foundation Got World Bike Road. That was a good day. Crossing. This is the outskirts of Cheltenham, coming into bottom end of Swindon Village. We're going to stop at a McDonald's for Sam, he wants to get some breakfast. So it's our, to, to win, to, well, what we know, to about 23, 24 miles in. So Sam can fuel up. Oh. An update on the bottom bracket, it is still creep free. I've probably done 100 miles with it now, no noise. And this ride will be the test if it lasts the length of this one without creaking. Then it looks like I may have fixed it. Again, I'm using the Garmin Edge 1000 to navigate. I don't think there's a bike computer that's any better than the Edge 1000 for navigation. There are plenty better for general, you know, data, metrics, battery life, that sort of thing. But I think the Edge 1000 has it for navigation. It's a good size screen, colour display, touch screen is, is fine. I'm happy with it anyway. I've made it to the McDonald's breakfast stop, but there's no sign of Sam yet. Maybe I got lost. Okay, Nick, thanks. Uh, editors were Imogen. That's it, breakfast at McDonald's done. Sam's had his. All I wanted was a chocolate milkshake. But the machine was broken. Disappointing. So now we're off into the unknown for me. I don't know the roads around here. I think I've just had our first view of the M5. Like I said earlier, we'll be uh, zigzagging around this 
13 times throughout the journey. Didn't look too busy today. I tell you what, the, the roads around here are awful. Gloucestershire roads need repairing. again. Crossing number three. I think we're now skirting around the edge of Gloucester. There's a nice new build estate back there. We made a bit of an effort with the trees down the side of the road and looked really nice. mile rest stop. Right, just stopped for a uh, drink and a snack. Oh now 40, 42 miles, 42 miles done. This was a scheduled break and we found a nice place to pull over. So we're gonna have doo -doo -doo -doo, double bloody decker. This is the first time you've seen my eyes today. As you can tell I'm suffering from hay fever at the moment. It's kicked off. Um, I'm struggling. My eyes are all red, son. No. Oh, right. So we're just going to take five, ten minutes here, and uh, then we'll push on. Goodbye, Besley Hill. Be no, that's in state. <laughs> okay. Catch you later. Whitminster! Whitminster! You want some cool whip? Everything going well so far? Feeling good? I may have just felt a little bit of rain then. M5 again. I think this is crossing number six. Just had a bit of rain, came down quite heavy, so we stopped in a church porch just to let it pass over. No trains.
we're not far now from our scheduled lunch stop. I can't remember exactly where it was. Thornbury. Oh, we'll soon see. The ride so far has been pretty good. Apart from a few light rain showers. It's been great. The majority of drivers are giving uh, plenty of space, only overtaking when it's safe to do so, which is great. Last week I mentioned I was cycling down in Surrey. Um, I did that, it took 20, I think it did 27 to 8 miles in Surrey. And it was awful. Absolutely awful. I've never, I never experienced anything like it on the bike. I was cycling with a friend and the type of road we were on meant it was better to do some defensive cycling, cycling in the primary position on the road, because there wasn't a safe place for cars to squeeze through with oncoming traffic, which is recommended. It's, the, it's a legal thing to do, it's a recommended thing to do in that situation. But so many cars didn't like it. Horns, you know, beeping horns as people passed. We even had a car coming in the opposite direction the driver wound down his window and shouted abuse. We weren't affecting his driving at all. He was on the other side of the road. All he had to do was drive past, but he felt it necessary to wind down his window and shout abuse. Surrey drivers, the worst I've ever experienced. It's not like we were on a busy road. All we were doing is probably holding up, you know, maybe holding them up for a couple of seconds while they had to wait for a clear gap which, which they did but that annoyed them the couple of seconds they were being held up by some cyclists annoyed them that much that they felt they had to beat their horns and shout abuse I haven't had that today I have never had that back at home I was so surprised If there's any Surrey cyclists that watch this, let me know, is, is that normal? Because uh, we don't get it up in the Cotswolds. Number nine! miles in just had lunch in Thornbury a couple of sausage rolls from Greg's yum I sat out the rain while having lunch it's now stopped for now hello and the forecast says that will be it but it's, uh, it's still quite overcast but the roads are drying out go So, what's coming up? I um, can't really remember the route. I know there's going to be a bridge, a long bridge, and I have to cycle along the side, the M5, in a cycle lane. I'm not going on the M5, of course, but there's, there's a cycle lane by the side of it, going across the bridge. The old telephone boxes are being used. So many now are, are used as this uh, sort of a, a book sharing point. You go there, drop off a book that you've read, pick up another one, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great use for them. That's stupid. OK, 
Okay, update. Uh, I've lost Sam for a little bit. He's got to get onto the M5 to cross the river. I'm going down a cycle track at the moment. So I can cut through where he can't. Bikes are so good like that. Up we go, we're joining the M5. No longer over and under, we're running along it. Did you feel it once again? Did you Western feel Superman! Got a puncture. So, I've got a puncture. It's those bike paths. I came off the, off the uh, motorway bridge down bike paths and just weren't well maintained. With glass over them, thorny bushes. I picked something up and uh, got a puncture in my rear. Uh, I'm not too far away from Sam. Sam's got. It's, uh, Got all my bits in the car, spare in a tube and a pump and everything. So he's on his way back, should be in a couple of minutes. And I'll uh, fix it. But how annoying. <laughs> so. I'm back on the bike again. Puncture has been fixed and I'm moving forward. Fortunately, as I suspected, I haven't been able to put as much pressure in as I wanted. So I am probably a little bit more susceptible now to, to future punctures. So I'm going to have to be extra careful. So only 20 miles left to do. 20 miles. We've got to cut back inland to get to another bridge and then it's a uh, pretty much straight road all the way to Western Superman. Sam is stuck in it. Ah, oh, he was able to filter through and get down uh, relatively easily. But Sam can't do that, so he's uh, he's behind me, and I'm not sure where he is. And now it's the home run up north, northwest towards Western. But uh, 
we are just coming up to 100 miles. Hashtag Centurion. And burr, 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 burr. this is the last time we'll go over the M5. This is number 13. M5 for the last time. Da -da -da -da, 100 miles. Whoop, whoop. Well, it's another five, six miles to the pier at Weston. That's the end point. And uh, fish and chips. You've got to have fish and chips when you go to the seaside. It's the law. Bike update. Still no creek. Ooh, it's looking good, isn't it, guys? Hey, there's Sam. Good that I've left a little bit of climbing till the end. Yay! It's some mud! But the sea's out there! Folks, chips and sausages have been consumed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, indeed. Bikes on the back, and now we're about to head home. It is miserable down here. The weather is awful. Well, thanks very much for doing the filming. You happy. guys would have already seen it, of course, because you're looking at it in the future. I don't know what's been filmed yet. So if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, drop a comment in the box below, let me know what you thought. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Whatever. I don't mind. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a it was a good ride, 107 miles. Cotswolds to the coast on a wet day. Okay, thanks very much for watching and again uh, I'll see you soon. Bye!